Hello, and in this tutorial, we will show you how to add a subdomain for your website using Hostinger. A subdomain works as a separate domain within your main website. This is helpful if you want to create a separate experience for your clients without affecting the navigation on your main page. For example, let's check the one and only google.com. They have used this feature amazingly throughout the years. Let's take a look. Google.com is the same page that we are used to navigating, but now go to travel.google.com and this is now a subdomain within Google that only relates to travel. They have an infinity of subdomains, for example, boys.google.com or keep.google.com and so forth. If you check them out, they're totally different from one another. For today's training, we're using Hostinger as our web host, so you can see how easy it is to create a subdomain there. First, log in to Hostinger.com using your email and password. Fast forward, we are already here in the main dashboard. So let's click on Manage under the Hosting category right here. If you only had the domain, Without the hosting plan, that's okay. You will also see the Manage button as well. Let's take a look at the left menu. You have on top the website name. If you had multiple websites, they will show here in this area. Towards the middle, let's click under Domains. And now we see an area or section for us to manage subdomains right here. At this point, all you have to do is create the subdomain. For training, we will type landing. Click create, and now the subdomain is landing.musicbyrosenberg.com. So we can add a totally separate user experience for this website. In this case, it will be a landing page. Here's the kicker. When we test the landing page, we noticed that the site was marked as unsafe. Not a good first impression, so let's go ahead and fix that. For this, we need to install an SSL certificate that hosting your already includes based on your plan. On the top menu of your hosting gear dashboard, click SSL. Now we have an option to install the SSL for the website and subdomain, which is great because any subdomains will be secured as well. Just click on install SSL and that's it. Click install on the subdomain separately until you see the confirmation message. Wait until the landing SSL is active, as you can see in the main domain. Once finished, let's go back to landing.musicbyrosenberg.com. Open the browser in private mode and go to landing.musicbyrosenberg.com. The unsafe domain warning is gone and we are all finished. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let us know in the comments below what other features you would like to know about Hostinger. Thank you for watching and bye for now.